So guys, they said we are not even. <sighs> it's almost 11 now, right? Almost 11 and there's no hope for us to go anytime soon because they've never started the first person. They said there's been a delay, so they've not started the first person. There are three in total and I don't even know if I'm the second or the third, but I'm very hungry. I am very, very hungry. And you know I cannot eat anything until after the surgery. Oh my, I just did me and finish this thing. Shop, shop, make I make I chop. Thank God it's not the one of Nigeria where they could say you um you have to fat first or you stay like two days before it, uh, without eating. I cannot wait to eat. I'm so hungry. Guys, I'm still here. Um, to the time. No, this thing is not showing well. To the time. I've passed one. And I'm still here. Nothing is happening. Nothing is happening just yet. Anyways, there were some colors because they've caught two other people or two other people have gone in. So there was soon, I'm the last person for today, I guess. So we'll soon be going in. Please put me in your prayers. But I'm tired. I'm so tired and I'm very, very hungry. Very hungry. <sighs> anyway, see you guys later. Later. <laughs> time guys so um from the last video you saw that was the end of the video because we are told to stop recording and uh, we couldn't record actually we couldn't record because of privacy and all that so we stopped so after the anesthesia or should i say when, the last video you saw it was them giving me the anesthesia and i don't know how to pronounce it. i don't know what the right pronunciation is but let me tell you what the anesthesia is is um an injection you put you give at the spine um to numb the lower body from feeling any form of pain so that's what we use that's what they use basically for cs you can research more on it i don't know but that was just it so when they gave it to me you know this is my third experience like I've had three CS, this is like the third CS I'm having. So I've had previous experience, so I know what it's like. Despite that, uh, even even without it, they always put you through the procedure. They'll tell you how everything is going. They'll tell you what to expect, what is normal and what is not normal. Do you understand? So I was already prepared, though I was still shaking, I was still panicking. Because as I got to the theater, immediately I got into the theater, I started crying. I started feeling, I was so scared. I was shaking. I was they were trying to console me but i could not stop i just tears just kept flowing kept flowing i could not help myself i was scared i was not going to come out so that fear was already there so um they started the, pro the procedure and the anesthesia kicked in immediately i could not feel my lower body 
and they did the tests now back in nigeria they do i don't know if they do any tests maybe they might use something to 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 prick you to know if, if you can feel it but the one they did here was uh, he used something a liquid that was like frozen water that was like ice water to pour on my body i was already <laughs> have in mind i was already shaking at this moment like i was shivering badly so he poured it on my lower body i didn't even know they were pouring anything on it but when he came up to this part i was shaking up. so you know i was so they knew at, at this point we already knew the parts that were that was numb and the part that was still alive let me use the word so you know he gave the the anesthetist gave the go ahead to start so they started it five minutes into five minutes into cutting me open you know that they will tell you there's pressure and there's pain you're not supposed to feel pain you're supposed to feel pressure you're supposed to feel pulling and tugging that's you know when they are trying to separate your intestine trying to bring out the baby you'll be feeling that somebody is pushing you you'll be feeling this shake you know you'll be feeling people that you you know people that have done it please just i don't know drop your experiences so that we will know tell me the different the thing that was done differently but this particular one i'm saying is a normal thing you will definitely feel pulling and tugging you are not supposed to feel pain so they started now my husband was trying to keep me because your husband will be by your side or your best partner will be by your side to you know try to talk to you play do even ask do you want music do you want anything you want so that your mind will not be devil my as much as they were trying i was trying to take my mind off it my mind was fully there like i was like they've caught me open my mind was there I was trying to take my i was scared i was scared one thing i never wanted was or one thing i was comfortable with was the fact that i was awake i never wanted that procedure of they'll give you injection and you will sleep off i never wanted because the last mis i had a miscarriage before this baby and that the last miscarriage i had i they gave me this to do the ever is it evacuation they call it but to flush my this thing they gave me the sleeping whatever and i went through hell trying to wake up so I didn't want that. That experience was really traumatic to me. So I didn't want that um, sleeping. When I want to give you that, you will sleep after the 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 surgery. You wake up. I didn't want it at all. So they started this one. Let me go back to what I was saying. So they started this one, and then they started the, the pulling and the talking, and the pain started. <laughs> when it started, I was like, no, this is pressure. It's not pain. Okay, you're not feeling any pain. You're not feeling any pain because you're scared, right? You know. But the more they were trying to separate, the more I started screaming, ah, ah, stop, 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 you know? They were like, are you okay? Because if you tell them to stop, they will stop. They cannot continue. I was like, yes, I'm okay. I'm fine. They said, what's the problem? I could not even explain what the problem was. It started again. They were like, can we go ahead? I said, yes, please go ahead. They started, they were trying to separate. I started screaming. I was feeling pain, guys. <laughs> I was telling myself, this is not pain. It's just the normal fear. It's the pressure. Even because they've, they've seen how I was from the beginning, they were like, are you sure it's pain? Are you sure um, you're not feeling nervous? Just calm down. You need to... I was like... I tried to now so that they will not feel like um, I'm a problem. But I tried to... Tell, I tried to make it pressure. At some point, I could not hold it again. I could not hold it. So first of all, they told me when they opened me up, they were like, "Oh, there's so much scar tissues. There's there's so much, I don't know this. All those are medical term, but then it was more like my stomach was quite complicated when they opened me because they'll be telling you it's different. I think later I'll drop a video of how my surgery in Nigeria versus how my surgery in UK, like the differences. Unlike in Nigeria, they'll be talking to themselves, you know. But this one, they'll be telling you, oh, we can see a skin. You know, they'll, they'll try to tell you if something is wrong or they will try to tell you at that time. So they told me there's scar these tissues in my body are, is too much or in my this thing is too much. So it's blocking water. I don't know. I don't know those, those English. The major thing that was feeling pains. So at some point, I started losing breath. This thing happened to me in my last surgery. But this one, when they, the last surgery, when they gave me oxygen, I was okay. So when they said you, they, when they put the oxygen mask on me because I was losing breath, that was when immediately they put the mask, I could not breathe at all this time around. So they had to take it off and I felt better. In fact, uh, before then, but so be, 
with all these things that were, that were that was happening they were like ma'am um by now we are supposed to have gotten to baby by this time you're supposed to have gotten to baby but we have not even started anything yet you know and you know because they've opened you up your baby will start losing oxygen so many things start happening so time is not on our side at you know god it was a complicated situation so they were still thinking I'm joking. You know, my husband was still trying to tell me, hey, babe, are you okay? You know, still trying to say, are you sure it's not because you're scared? I was like, I'm not scared. I'm feeling pains. I'm feeling, once they are trying to, once they put their hands inside, I'm feeling serious pain. And the worst part is, this pain I'm feeling, I'm not feeling it on my, you know, your vaginal, you know, your V area. You know, I'm not feeling it where I'm open. I'm definitely open. I'm feeling it around my, below my, my breasts, like, around that side that's where i'm feeling the pain how come like i didn't even understand what was happening anyways i think it was almost it took more than 30 to 45 minutes this thing we were still trying to um make me find it we were still tr it took a bit i think i don't even know i've lost track of time but it was almost like 10 hours to me at that time so they had to call in professionals <laughs> they are professionals too but they, they had to call in special okay specialists i think they called the gynecologist they called uh, three specialists they had to call um do an emergency call for them to come and show them you know because this my stomach was complicated to come and tell, show them which parts to open or how they should carefully open i don't even know the english they were speaking at that time so that was when those ones came in now and wanted to put hand, you know, they wanted to start, you know, trying to, I was screaming. They were like, no, no, she's feeling so, she's feeling pains. We can't touch her. That was when they gave me an option because we were running out of time. They were like, ma'am, we have to, the only option right now is to put you to sleep. You have to, we have to put you to sleep so that we can, so that you can be calm and we can get to baby fast enough because we can't actually do this with the way you're you're agitated we can't actually do it with the way you're feeling and trust me we are still on the top plate we've not gone in very well it means that there's going to be so much pulling there's so, going to be so much it's going to be worse so we have to that's the only option i told my husband never i cannot sleep i don't want to sleep and go from there i want to wake up i want to i don't want to sleep they should look for another option they should try that i'm going to endure the pain you know i was so scared immediately they gave me that option they tried again time <laughs> by this time they don't finish my day for don't finish my surgery they tried again and that was when my scream i i could not hold it any longer i had to just give up i was like they should just put me to sleep because time was going. I was feeling pain. I was losing strength. I was, the fear was multiplying. Nobody have told you this is your situation. The fear was now times three. I just told them instead of having, to, I, I can die. In fact, the panic attack I was having at that time, I could have died from it. So that was it. They had to, I told them I had, okay, the, uh, I, I, I consented to get them putting their, do, English is hard, but then I consented to going to sleep for them to um, continue with the surgery. This video is going to get too long. I think I'm going to do a part two of where it got interesting before they put me to sleep. See you guys in the next video. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for sticking till this time.